Well, you're taking a cool dip in the sea late one summer evening. When out of nowhere, the water starts glowing. You're not in some fantastical dream, and this is no time to stop and enjoy the beauty. Get out of there now, because you're not alone. You look at a map and clearly see bodies of water are supposed to be blue. Though, when you scoop up some in a glass, any water, if it's clean, is mostly clear. So, how is that? Well, you probably recall learning about Roy G. Biv in school. The colors of the visible light spectrum you can clearly see in rainbows. Well, ponds, rivers, lakes, and oceans look blue because all that water spread over a large enough surface area will absorb the red part of the light spectrum. What's left to reflect off the surface and beeline straight into our eyes, cool tones of blue, some greens, and purples. But under the right circumstances, some bodies of water can break all those laws of physics and what we've accepted as reality. Like Australia's Gippsland Lakes, which glow electric blue at night. The waves light up as they break into the shore, and it's breathtaking to see against a black starry sky. But get rid of the romance, switch to day mode and look again. The water is a rusty red-orange. It's called a red tide. It happens because of a type of single-celled organism called dinoflagellates, also known as sea sparkles or red algae. Unusually large blooms of them can grow when temperatures are a bit higher, the seas are calm, and there are more nutrients in the water, often after a storm or natural catastrophe. You see big blotches of red in the water during the day, but at night, they light up like a lava lamp. This happens because organisms glow when they're stressed or disturbed. Scientists think this evolutionary trick helps the algae scare off enemies or attract the things that eat their predators. Waves moving in the water can trigger the chemical reaction in them that makes them light up. But don't try it for yourself by swimming in a patch of sea sparkles. Red algae can be hazardous to people and marine life. For one, they contain high levels of ammonia. So a peaceful swim in glowing waters can mean eye irritation and rash. They can also make the surrounding air difficult to breathe. What's worse, fish and marine mammals that dine on them may find themselves having their last meal. They make seafood toxic, so eating something that ate red algae can bring about symptoms like food poisoning in people. In rare cases, it can even affect the central nervous system, causing tingling, loss of motor control, or even respiratory paralysis. Yeah, you probably want to avoid that. Sometimes, a glowing danger can sneak up on you in perfectly blue waters. Crystal jellies live off the North American coast of the Pacific Ocean and glow purplish blue and green. And an unexpected rendezvous with these bioluminescent beauties can bring you nothing but a big red itchy rash. The good news is that its sting isn't that painful. Now, no need to pinch yourself, that bubblegum pink lake is real, and it's not the only one in the world. But Australia's Lake Hillier is the most mysterious. The water is extremely salty there, but some microorganisms still manage to thrive. Salt-loving algae and pink bacteria are what give the lake its unearthly look. What makes it so unique among all the world's pink salt lakes is that when you scoop the water up in a glass, it doesn't lose the color. It's actually safe to swim in, though you couldn't if you wanted to. It's closed off from the public. Plus, the saltiness would dry your skin out and irritate it. And this is no strawberry milkshake, so don't even think about drinking it. It's 10 times saltier than the sea, and drinking ocean water is dangerous enough. The crater lake on Kawa Ijin, an active volcano in Java, will astound you with its turquoise water. Well, if you can call it water, this thing is a lake of sulfuric acid. Now, a quick recap of the pH scale. Toward zero is acidic, like lemons. Seven is neutral, pure water. And alkalines are closer to 14. Think bleach and drain cleaner. The water in this lake has a pH of less than 0.3, making it a hair less acidic than battery acid. Keep your distance while enjoying the beauty, and just wait until the real show starts at night. 
the volcano spews electric blue lava. Technically, it's the sulfuric gases catching on fire from the lava and being exposed to oxygen. Yellowstone has blue lava too, but it's also where you'll find the grand prismatic spring. The thing looks like a melted rainbow. The center is the hottest part. No color-changing bacteria can live there, so it reflects typical blue. Now around that is a band of yellow. The water there is farther from the heat center, so it allows for bacteria that produce carotenoids as a type of natural sunscreen. This pigment chemical is actually orange. It's what gives carrots their hue, by the way. But the green-colored bacteria make it look a bit yellowish. The next ring is orange. The water there is somewhat cooler. And it houses four different types of microorganisms that make the water bright orange, rusty red orange, and even brown. Boiling Lake in Dominica could probably cook an egg. The bubbling water is grayish-blue and hides under a huge vapor cloud. The average temperature near the shore is between 180 and 197 degrees Fahrenheit. In the center, it's still unknown. No one's measured the temperature there because the water's always boiling. It's also hard to breathe out there because of volcanic sulfur gases. New Zealand's frying pan lake will make your eyes water for several reasons. First, you'll be astonished by its majestic beauty. But that's not a fairy tale mist floating above the surface. It's hazardous vapors that'll really get the tears flowing. It's the world's largest hot spring and is a bit less acidic than a lemon. The water is about 130 degrees, and you can feel its heat from a football field away. But that's not enough to cause these bubbles, you see. No, this lake's not boiling. That's carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide gases bubbling up and breaking through the surface. So what you have is a massive 9-acre steaming cauldron spewing poisonous fumes. You can safely assume it's no place for swimming. Out-of-this-world colors caused by toxic microorganisms, steaming and boiling volcanic lakes. Most dangerous waters will clearly let you know to keep your distance. Except for riptides. A riptide is a water current that carries you far away from the shore, and they can happen unexpectedly. If you ever get caught in one, stay calm and swim parallel to the beach to break free from it, and know what to look for to avoid them. You can sometimes see a darker, calm section between the white caps of breaking waves. Rip currents can also pull debris like algae, seaweed, and sand quickly away from the shore, while the surrounding waves usually bring them toward it. Hey, let's be careful out there!